What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and enjoy some popular Norwegian TikToks. TikTok has a way of just showing the most funny, interesting, and random videos about Norway. So I thought this would be very entertaining and maybe a bit educational also uh, in regards to Norway. Because when you look up Norway on TikTok, you do get uh, quite a few videos that have been viewed like millions of times. So I expect some of these to be pretty good and probably pretty funny. So let's take a look. How to be Norwegian. Why? How? Tie your hair in a ponytail. Okay. Two. Wear fast glasses everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Three. Love licorice. Huh? Okay. I. <laughs> Uh, I like this one, How to Be Norwegian. Yeah, I mean, I never really thought about it, but... Putting your hair in a ponytail, definitely. Is it like a stereotype? Like, even Americans think that? The glasses. The glasses. Yeah, the glasses. Definitely Norwegian. I didn't know about the licorice thing. Uh... Do Norwegians like licorice? I, I've i never thought about that. They're, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that one. Okay. <laughs> I learned something. Okay. Things in Norwegian malls that America needs. Okay. Things in Norwegian malls that America needs. So out here in Norway, they have grocery stores inside of the mall. Like, look, it's a normal oh. mall. And then, boom. Grocery store. I don't know if what? it's a Europe thing or a Norwegian thing, but, bro, you... Grocery stores inside of the mall. Gro huh. I don't know if that would do well in America or not. Because we are just not used to grocery shopping at the mall. <sighs> I mean, I guess that would be convenient. Why not? I didn't know that was common in Norway, in malls, actually. Grocery store. I don't know if it's a Europe thing or a Norwegian thing, but... Bro, you could take individual cans out the package. Oh. Like people just came over here and just took them right out. Yeah, that's that's funny. <laughs> that's a funny, like, weird little detail. Uh, you typically, in America, you don't mess with the pallets, the boxes of, of drinks and food. You, you don't break them open and take out individual stuff like that. You, you just would never do that. In America, if they catch you in the store taking some shit out of the package, yeah, you are stealing, get him. Yeah. And they also got pharmacies. That's right, right. They might think you're actually some trying. Some <laughs> They might think you're trying to steal. And they also got pharmacies. That's some American needs real bad inside the malls. Huh. Malls in America just have clothing stores and some restaurants, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, and movie theaters. Also, out here in malls, they have Burger Kings. Look, right here in the mall, Burger King. Burger King. You got like Wetzel's pretzels and some like hot dog and a stick and like that, but they don't... Well, you know, I might expect to see like a Burger King maybe in a mall. Okay. Definitely in an airport. Maybe not a mall. But I've never seen a pharmacy in a mall. Seems like, seems like Norwegian malls are just a little better. There's just like more options for stuff. So that's actually kind of nice. I, I've never seen a Norwegian mall. That McDonald's or Burger King is Okay. All right. I like that one. I like I like these. These are honestly more educational for me than I ever realized they'd be. <laughs> Norwegian is the easiest language ever. Okay. Is it? Norwegian is the easiest language ever. Huh? In English, you would say, oh my God, I'm so sorry for bumping into you. I didn't see you. But in Norwegian, you just say, oi. In English, you say, <laughs> oi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I've heard of oi before. I didn't. I don't know what oi means, but <laughs> that's funny. Wow! Instead of saying, "Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. I bumped into you," just oi. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. Oi. In English, you say, "Oh, I didn't quite catch what you said. Can you please repeat?" But in Norwegian, you just say, "Huh?" <laughs> you know when you're huh? Well, you know, in America, you, you could say, huh? You could say, huh? 
Which is, it's funny how similar that is, but it's ha, huh? not huh. Is that right? Ha. Huh? Ha. Ha. Huh? Yeah, in America you could, you could say huh. Wow, that is so funny. Like, how similar those are, but they're not the same. Hmm. And you know when you're happy to see someone, you're like, oh, it's so nice to finally see you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. <laughs> but in Norwegian, you say, Namen. Namen? Namen. Wait, really? I've never heard that. Wait. Na Th that is a word for if you haven't seen somebody in a long time. And it's nice to see you. Namen? Is that right? I don't think English has a word that's really equivalent to that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything like that. That's interesting. Hmm. Learning a little bit about the Norwegian language today. I like it. From TikTok, of all things. Okay. <laughs> uh, a lot of you don't know what a regular Norwegian neighborhood looks like. Okay. Some of you don't know what a regular Norwegian neighborhood looks like, so I thought I'd show you around mine. For starters, okay. we live right on the water, uh, which is frozen right now, as you can see. No one. Is this? Is this really a normal really... Norwegian? Whoopsie. Is this a normal Norwegian neighborhood? Like. This looks like something out of a fairy tale or something with all the water and the docks and the wood. This is, there's, is this typical? I mean, this is amazing. We live right on the water, uh, which is frozen right now, as you can see. No one's really out today. Um, wow. Which is a little weird. I mean, this this particular place looks like it's from the 16th century or something. It's like super cool. It's like old. It's like medieval. I don't know. I don't know what the style is, but this looks like something out of a movie. Uh, there's got to be very, very modern Norwegian neighborhoods too, right? In Norway. But I think the fact that this stuff even exists is very unique and very, very different for me. Very different. Maybe there's a party or something I wasn't invited to. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. This baby is my ship. What? That's how I get like to the grocery store or to school Wait. and stuff back in the day when I lived in Norway. And my- Okay, okay, hold up. Okay, she is joking. She's joking. She's, this is a joke. She's trolling. There's no way, she does not take a pirate ship to school. No, okay. Cannons, Nick. Okay, and these are her cannons. Okay, no. And my cannons. Oh my gosh, and I believed this. Oh my gosh, I believed this the entire time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nick, in case we spot any sweets, we burn bonfire. <laughs> this is where we burn people who talk to strangers or people who don't drink Pepsi Max. We always switch out the statue with whoever won the most gold medals in the Winter Olympics, so this is... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it took me a second here to realize that this is a parody. Uh, now I think this this TikTok is very funny. Okay. This is Captain Peter Nortug. All right, I can't show you too much more because it is minus 15 degrees. And <laughs> my hand has now formed to my phone. So, but that's where I live. Okay. Oh my gosh. I fell for that. Oh my gosh. I was like, ah, oh, I guess Norway can have like some of these older looking towns and villages. Like in some of the small parts of Norway. I mean, I've seen that, but once she started saying that she takes the boat to school, I was like, no. A lot of you no. don't know what No, okay, all right, I like that, I like that. She got me. Uh, what is this? You don't look Norwegian, okay. But you don't look gay. Oh, I'm sorry, Hold, let me just. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Yep. The hat. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. He has transformed. What do you call these shoes? These are like Crocs, but they're like Crocs, but made out of leather. I have never seen that. I like the big socks and the toque, the hat, and the, <laughs> the Norwegian sweater. Oh, man. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If you don't look Norwegian enough, that you just need the correct outfit. The Norwegian uniform. Yes, okay. I like that. Uh, what is this? 
uh, Norwegian sayings. Oh, okay. Norwegian sayings that make no sense in English. Oh. It's not only only. This means <laughs> that something is difficult or stressful. Wow. Oh, wow. It's sayings that do not translate to English. What is that? What was this one again? Um, it's not only only. <laughs> Deterik bear bear. It's not only only. Okay, something is difficult. Is difficult or stressful? Okay. To walk around the porridge. <laughs> Basically, beating around the bush, not wanting to say things how it is. Ut på tur, aldrig sur. Out on a trip, <laughs> never angry. We say this whenever we go hiking. <laughs> a saying, a saying dedicated to not getting angry while hiking. Is that what it is, or? <laughs> that makes sense that it doesn't really translate to English. I like these, I like these actually. Don't be so apple handsome. Don't be so arrogant. To step in the salad. Basically you fucked up. <laughs> Norwegian sayings that make- Okay. All right, we, uh, <laughs> to step in the salad. Uh, how do you say this one? A toke salatin. You you made a mistake. You messed up. Okay. <laughs> I like I like hearing sayings in other languages, like Norwegian in particular, because it is funny. They don't really translate. But I think America does have sayings kind of like this for for messing up and and be, don't beat around the bush. Say what you mean. Don't try to. Don't try to lie and beat around something without saying it. Yeah. All right. Norwegian sayings. Man, I could do a whole video on Norwegian sayings. I like that. We just moved to Norway. Hi, I speak very bad Norwegian. Can we speak English? Oh, this is specific. Hi. Jeg snakker veldig dårlig norsk. Okay. Kan vi snakke engelsk? I mean, hey, you gotta give her credit for trying. I imagine many Norwegians have encountered this exact situation, right? Uh, ja, egentlig, men uh, sorry for de snakker veldig dårlig engelsk. De... Okay, uh, I know what this is gonna be. This is a joke, because Norwegians are amazing at English, but most Norwegians probably think... Oh, I'm not that great, but I'll try. I'll try, but I'm bet I, most Norwegians are amazing. Like seriously. <laughs> okay, so uh, how are you enjoying Norway? Like, when did you move here? Like, tell me your story. <laughs> yeah. Kudderu, kafan. Fuck you, man. Hey, it just means that Norwegians are very humble. Very humble, but. Compared to the rest of the world, and definitely compared to Americans, Norwegians are amazing at having a second language, English in particular. Yeah, I bet even Norwegian children are, like, mind-blowingly good at English, and they'd probably be like, oh, I'll try to talk in English, I'm not that great, but no, probably are. <laughs> uh, what is this? Things I get asked as a Norwegian living in the USA. Oh, okay. Are most people attractive in Norway? Oh, I mean, this is kind of a stereotype. I mean, this is a good stereotype. Like, Americans think Norwegians are just beautiful. All models, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Are you from Copenhagen? Yeah, like, the, <laughs> I bet Norwegians do get asked that. Yeah, Copenhagen, that's not Norway. Do polar bears walk around in the street? Um, isn't, it's possible, right? Or is it a different type of bear? See, I actually don't know the answer to this one. Yes, but cause a lot of traffic problems. Yeah, see, I didn't know, I didn't know if that was a joke or not. Okay. I like that. I like that. And I am definitely that American who would be asking Norwegians kind of 
silly questions, but I appreciate answering. Are you all beautiful? <laughs> Are you all beautiful? Are there polar bears? <laughs> People keep asking us to speak in our native language. People keep asking us to speak in our native language. So today I'm going to show you how Camilla's personality completely changes oh. when she speaks English versus when she speaks Norwegian. I have heard about this, actually, from people from other stuff. Like, when you talk in a certain language, it changes how you think. It changes your personality. Like... Languages kind of have their own culture and personality to them. It's it's amazing. So, okay. Norwegian speaking English versus Norwegian personality. Norwegian, okay. So, the first word we're going to say is a sentence, actually. Probably fuck. Probably fuck. <laughs> and then repeat it in Norwegian. Da säger jeg sikkert faen i helvete. I don't I don't know what that... I don't know what that personality is. It's definitely more energy. A lot more energy. Oh my gosh. I guess it's just, uh, I mean, it's got a lot more energy and a lot more variation in pitch. It's like, it's definitely more intense to me. Maybe it's because it's, cause it's words I don't understand, but just hearing the sounds and the tone, it's more energetic and a little more intense sounding. Okay. <laughs> it definitely changes how your personality comes across for sure. Okay. And we have every Norwegian when someone decides to sit next to you on the bus. Oh, I know this is a big no-no. You are not supposed to sit next to each other on the bus. Okay. Every Norwegian, when someone decides to sit next to you on the bus. <laughs> is it, uh... Finally, the pussy is for myself. What, like staring at their feet, basically? Like you're constantly staring at their feet, trying to not touch each other, or... Is that... <laughs> Finally, the okay, and then you're finally happy when you have <laughs> all the personal space you could need. But yeah, this is another one I hear all the time that I think is pretty true. Norwegians don't want to be sitting next to each other on the bus if you can help it. And when it happens, I guess you're kind of like hyper alert to the fact that someone is very near you. And then... You're kind of uncomfortable, and then it's a big relief when they finally leave, and you get the space back to yourself. All right, I like that. That's actually one that I've kind of heard of a few times, so good. Anyway, I enjoyed these. Uh, uh, Norwegian TikToks. These are the popular ones currently, the ones that came up at the top today. So these were pretty funny, and I mean, actually, some of them were very funny. I didn't even know that one of them was a joke at one time, and honestly... As I was hoping, a lot of these were very informative, honestly, like teaching me about Norway, which is something I love about TikTok. Like, it's very random. It's very, very random. But I learn something. I have a few laughs. So I like these. I enjoyed these Norwegian TikToks. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me, reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, stuff in Norway I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.